an intense game of chess is underway. The entire world is watching as your opponent sacrifices a bishop for a mating attack. You are sweating as his queen enters the game. You are crying like a baby inside while you try to look chill outside. As your opponent brings one more piece into the attack, the mate feels eminent. There seems to be no defense. You look to the left, look upwards towards the ceiling for inspiration, but get none. Finally, you offer your hand in resignation, which your opponent gladly accepts. Seconds later, he shows you one simple move with which you could have saved the game. As he leaves laughing, you call your friend Morgan Freeman for some support. Hello? Hello. Yeah, Morgan, I... I lost. I was completely winning. He attacked my king. I panicked. I did not see the defense. I resigned in a winning position. I feel so horrible. I'm an idiot, aren't I? What can I say about a chess player who resigns in a winning position? What a fool. Hello? Hello? I thought you were free, man. But what if you could do things differently? What if you could go back in time? We are going to go back in time and try not to resign in games where super GMs resigned in winning or drawish positions. Tonight, it's a roast time. Imagine resigning in a winning position and it getting caught on camera. This happened in the game of Spanish number two, Valeo Pons, or well, rather his opponent. Anish, get up. I am also need roasting. It's white to play in this position and the only question is can he win this game? The pawn is so close to queening. But suddenly he plays rook h8 check giving up the entire rook. And what's even more surprising is black resigned because he thought after king takes h8, king takes g6 check. Now basically the pawn is queening but he completely forgot the bishop can be captured by the rook. And now the rook controls the queening square and black wins. LOL. There is no way black resigns this quickly. He definitely had a date and was looking for reasons for the game to end. Wow, what a sacrifice. That's beautiful. But I am not sure it works. I mean, you can... No, 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 no. What a beautiful sacrifice. I totally like it. But what if you know beautiful, beautiful sacrifice? Where are you going? Nowhere. Just appreciating the beauty of your uh, sacrifice from the distance. Well done. Yeah, great game. And the audience is literally clapping at the brilliant sacrifice. The second position is from 1902. Here, Black is scared of getting his ass whooped by simply the piece being lost because it's pinned by the white queen and rook. So what does he do? He resigns. Only if he had sit tight and let the bishop explore its options. Who knows, maybe it likes pawns more than pieces. Here black can play the spectacular move bishop to g1 and it's white who has to resign because this mate threatened on h2 and the queen is also hanging. Can you imagine the shock the white king would have got? Oh, uh, hi, uh, what are you doing here black bishop? Are you lost? Are you looking for your mom? Hey Rook, uh, could you take this black bishop to its home? It looks rather lost. Oh, Mr. King, what? <gasps> In this position, white took on f6 with the queen and sat with the smug expression on his face. After g takes f6, rook to g3 check, king h8 and bishop takes f6 is checkmate. But if black had a few more beads, he would have realized the insane move queen to g4. The queen threatens mate in one of its own and while you can capture it with the pawn, now rook g3 is no longer possible. In a king pawn endgame, a pawn up is usually curtains. In fact, black wrapped himself up in the Harry Potter invisibility cloak and just vanished. But black was completely winning. He should have played the move c4 and after the sequence of moves, both sides queen but black gets the first check and gets the white king. Hikaru Nakamura is a lucky guy. Here he is playing Hugh Hifan, the strongest woman player on the planet and he, instead of a normal guy, just giving check, check and mate, goes for rook g3 check, king to h4 and now rook to h2, threatening rook takes h3 mate and here Hugh Hifan resigned. She simply missed after c8 queens the queen defends the h3 pawn. Look at Hikaru realize this in real time after the game has ended. I love this guy. Where's his expressions on his sleeves? Now that we have mentioned Hikaru, we also need to look at a game by his best bud, Magnus Carlsen. Here Carlsen is just 16 years old and playing the world number one at that time, Veselin Topolov. Yes, that guy. Carlsen plays queen g6, threatening check, check, 
picking up the knight and Topolov sees no defense and resigns only to Carlson show him the defense after the game. The trauma on Vesely in Topolov's face as he realizes that after queen d5 check f3 and e5 queen h7 king f8 queen h8 and queen goes all the way back to g8 and it's just an equal position. Carlson's queen directly flew into his opponent's camp and destroyed everyone. Oh Anish you want to get back? Okay uh, here you go. Anish Giri is Magnus Carlson's best friend and arch rival and he's a clever trickster. Here he is playing against Sam Shanklin and he plays the move b6 to kind of so to speak cement his winning position. And Shanklin shakes his head and just like the others gives up. In fact this position is just a draw. It's a fortress. The black king simply goes back to d6, d7 and c8 and even when white takes the knight even a piece and a pawn up and it's a dead draw. Tricky Anish. Shanklin said that when he was going through passport control while traveling from this tournament, the border control agent said, All right, all right, all right. Weren't you the one who lost a drawn game? The interstellar sucks. Banned. Poor Shankland just can't stop being a victim. In the Olympiad this year, he became the first ever guy to pre move in an over the board game. Here we can see his opponent meant to play queen to g2, but he thought his opponent is playing queen h1 check and pre-move with this king only to realize what his opponent meant and then he had to resign well what else can he do poor shanklin it's time to test your out of the box thinking white has just played rook to d7 and here black simply resigned because rook takes d7 rook takes d7 queen takes d7 and queen f8 is mate could black have defended your move i hope you have thought for a while after pausing the video here black can play the spectacular move queen to f7 and after rook takes f7 rook takes d1 check intermediate move king moves and then i pick up the second rook and in fact it's white who will have to resign soon and black is absolutely fine Okay, I'm getting a call. Hey Morgan, how are you? I knew you would never forget me. Okay, you want me to put you on speaker. Okay, interesting. Subscribe. This Sahil dude is cool. Ah, thanks man. That was so sweet. By the way, what happened to my role in the new Batman movie? I asked you for it, right? Hello? Hello? Watch this video next quickly. Hello? Hello?